Good morning, everyone. This is uh, Jim Lillibridge, one of the pastors here at the Urbana United Methodist Church. It's time for another Motivational Monday. So I hope you had a great week and uh, uh, things are looking up uh, as we continue to get back to work and get through this pandemic. Well, we're pre-recording Motivational Monday today from Westminster, West Minster, Maryland, uh, where uh, Tammy and I are visiting our son, Matt, daughter-in-law, Haley, and our two grandchildren, Jacob and Josiah. So they're out walking the dog, and so Matt and I are here to uh, uh, do our Motivational Monday. So this is my son, Matt. Uh, say hi, Matt. Hey, everybody. <laughs> So, um, hey, um, Sunday, uh, on Sunday, uh, Pastor Christopher started a new series called Some Good News. And, you know, um, we all know that uh, a lot of times when we turn on the news or open the newspaper or uh, you're waiting in line at the grocery store and you're looking at the little newsstand stuff and it's all bad news, bad news, bad news. The reality is that even when there's uh, a lot of bad news going on. There's always some good news. And of course, the good news we always have is even when things look bad, God is still in charge and uh, God's got this. And so uh, Pastor Christopher uh, Sunday talked about the fact that when things look helpless and helpless, uh, the God who is able is always there with us to bring us through. And he uh, used Jeremiah 29, 11. Uh, is his focus passage, which is uh, reads like this. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. So it's a reminder that even when it looks like disaster is upon us, God is still in the midst of us because God always uh, will cause all things to work for good. He's always got a bigger plan than what we're able to see. And when we uh, put our faith in him then uh, and trust him and follow his ways, he always leads us to that great destiny that awaits us. Uh, and it's just kind of a faith walk for us to discover it. And so um, I invited Matt to join us uh, uh, this morning because, you know, uh, uh, several years ago, after he graduated from college, uh, he headed out to... Uh, Washington, D.C., had kind of his dream job on Capitol Hill, uh, was working uh, uh, in the office of uh, uh, the late uh, Congressman Paul Gilmore. And uh, we went out a week early and uh, looked all over the place for an apartment, an affordable apartment, okay? Uh, and we finally thought we had one. We went to Ikea, loaded up the SUV and strapped things on the top and they had stuff hanging out of everywhere. Went back to the apartment to move his stuff in and the uh, 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 manager of that apartment had uh, uh, rented it out underneath him and uh, gave it to somebody else because we didn't pay a deposit or anything like that. So we had to go back to Ikea unload everything because I didn't want to park that car in a motel parking lot fearing that in the morning all that stuff would be gone. So uh, uh, while we were at the Ikea bringing all this stuff back, there was this sweet African-American gal that was there and she looked at us like, why are you bringing all this stuff back? So I said, well, and I kind of explained the story and uh, the woman said, uh, you know, hey, she looked at Matt, who was looking, you know, it was like 100 degrees outside. We were hot, sweaty. He kind of looked down and she said, now, honey, you know, we serve a big God. And uh, God just has something bigger. He's got a bigger plan waiting for you. So don't you worry. God has got this. And uh, uh, as it turned out, uh, uh, even though we went through the frustration of returning it all, uh, the next day or two, we found a place that was better, nicer place, uh, and uh, then we went back and got his furniture again from Ikea and uh, got everything moved in. Uh, but that was a place, Matt, that kind of felt probably hopeless at that time, uh, but uh, God did have the steering wheel and he was driving the car to where uh, he wanted you to be. Uh, so. Um, Matt, tell them a little bit about, so you had like your dream job and everything was looking great. And then 
uh, a disaster hit. Did you want to tell them about what happened with the pastor or uh, for Congressman Paul Gilmore? Sure, and uh, you know I think um, when we put some of these examples into in our current state of affairs, they they seem perhaps trivial, but I think the um, you know the lesson is always always the the same and the foundations of, of, of uh, you know where we're finding our hope our energy are all the same so um, you know we had like like dad had mentioned you know we had moved out here I was working uh, on Capitol Hill for a member of Congress um, for what turned out to be a short period of time uh, woke up one morning um, and Congressman Gilmore had had a heart attack and passed away uh, so we had a lot of uncertainty there, a lot of unknown. Um, you know, uh, when you work for uh, in politics for a member of Congress, um, you know, you, you serve the member, and um, if that member is no longer with us, then um, on to the next job for you. So um, you know, we uh, there was a period of uh, you know time of uncertainty there. What do I do? Um, it, you know, I, and I think as we think about this um, as a population today. Uh, there's probably a lot of similar things like that going on right now. Mm-hmm. Hey, I woke up today and I don't have a job. Right. Um, or, um, you know, this happened and uh, that was really out of my control. And uh, for me, that means that I don't have a source of income or I don't, uh, you know, the thing that I was really passionate about doing and I felt like I was serving uh, in all the right ways. Now that's no longer available. What happens? What do I do? And, um, you know, uh, I think the message of the week is, hey, um, amidst all the all the bad news that's going on in this world, amongst uh, pandemics, amongst um, you know uh, all of the things that are going on here within the U.S. right now, um, between left and right, between this side and that side, between whatever, um, it's very easy for us to feel like, hey. You know, what do I do? You know, um, where where is this heading? This is likely heading for a very bad place. Uh, you know, all these are natural thoughts, and I think um, it's very important for us to look back at the foundations of uh, who we are as, as uh, you know as servants of, of our God and, and faith centered folks uh, to remember that uh, amidst all of that, God's already He's you know as bad as it may seem, God's conquered that all. Uh, so let's let that burden off our shoulders. Um, you know, if I don't know what I'm, what's going to happen tomorrow, what's going to come, you know, my way, or what's going to be served on my plate, or if I have questions about if I'm going to be able to put food and serve my kids, and uh, you know, for uh, on their plates for dinner, or my my spouse, or whatever, um, you know, knowing that you can put your 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 faith and your trust in a God who's going to provide. Um, it, it, you know, and it may not always be pretty. I mean, you know, as we, as we have ventured out into this world uh, as faith-centered people, uh, you know, there's no guarantee that God's going to work everything out for us every time. Uh, but, what, but what He does promise us that, is that He will be there for us, He will sustain us, and He will provide uh, for us. Maybe not the way that we thought or, or we hoped for, uh, but He's always there. Um, so as we look around us today, Hey, what, um, you know, and we answer all those questions, what's going on? What, you know, this is a crazy time and in, in, in what's going to end up being the history of our country. Uh, this is a crazy time, uh, really in the history of the world with a pandemic uh, that, you know, once in a, every couple hundred years pandemic, we've got uh, all sorts of uh, instability here, um, you know, at home, whether it be with politics, whether it be with whatever's going on. Um, so we're going to look back at this time and, and um, you know, I think there's going to be some, some good lessons to take away from it. And, and um, I think we're really, it's, it's incumbent upon us as, as, um, as, as faith-centered folks to, to know, one, hey, God's got this. It's going to work itself out. And then two, understand that, um, you know, the, how can God use me in, in these scenarios? Um, you know, what can I do? And I think that's the good news. Uh, the good news is is that amidst all of this, um, hey, we've got um, an all-powerful God. Um, we've still, no matter what anybody says, we live in the best country in the history of the world. And we have an opportunity every day to uh, impact and improve our immediate sphere of influence, whether that be our families, whether that be our coworkers, uh, whether that be people that we see at church, 
uh, we have an opportunity to to lift and uplift um, our our immediate community, and then from there it's going to expand outwards. And I think we as a country, if we think about it in that way, uh, that's the direction that we need uh, to go. Uh, let's drop the hate. Let's drop the finger pointing. Let's drop the the Twitter fingers of negativity, and let's start dishing out hugs and and and, um, and serving serving the people around us that need it. Um, you know, I think that that is the country we are. That is a uh, faith community that we are. Um, and even though right now maybe it's uh, the last thing or the hardest thing to do, uh, this is the time to do it. This is the time you know to to fight for that. Um, and I think in the end, uh, we're going to come out of this stronger. So, All right. Very good. Thanks, Matt. That was great. And again, you know, it goes back to the fact that God promises a hope and a future. Uh, and uh, the journey that he takes us through that, as Matt said, may not be where we wanted to go, but uh, it's important to know that God has our future. Uh, and uh, when we put our faith in him, he always directs our paths. And, and, you know, God doesn't eliminate the challenge, but he gives us the strength to endure and to find new possibilities. So it's not like a wish list. It's not like, boy, I, I wish things will get better, but or, you know, maybe things will get better. No, we all know that God's got this. And so it's not kind of a wish thing. It's a no thing. We know God's got this. And as we put... Uh, uh, you know, our hand in the hand of the man from Galilee, he always takes us through. And so that's the great reminder uh, for us and that we pass on this week. So, hey, I hope you have a great week. You got a little nugget there, we hope, of hopefulness. Uh, and uh, whatever challenge you're facing today, whatever challenge comes up uh, this week or beyond, know that God has a great hope and a future plan for you. Uh, and God will lead us through. That light at the end of the tunnel, remember, it's not a train coming at you. Uh, it is God showing you the way, the truth, and the life. So, hey, have a blessed week. Uh, thank Matt for being with us today. I kind of coerced him to do this, uh, and uh, but he willfully did so, and I'm glad he did, did a great job. So, hey, uh, God bless. Remember, God loves you. We love you. Uh, and we'll see you uh, next week. Take care. See you guys.